This audio content is for entertainment purpose only. There are no intentions to offend anybody, any society, entity, or government. So, please don't sue me. Enjoy. Hello world. Today is May 8th, 2022. And... Um, this is Unity Fan YouTube channel. The podcast number 12. Today's topic is um, Hitler's last days through the eyes of his personal pilot. Recently, I stumbled upon two unclassified documents uh, of the Hitler's personal pilot. It was unclassified uh, very recently, just around a week ago, and um, it's around 10 pages long, uh, and uh, I was trying to read it, but uh, uh, it is difficult to read and translate at the same time. It is actually very difficult. In my reading, I didn't like it, and it's uh, maybe a little bit slightly too long, because it has a lot of details, which people probably, you don't really have to know. And uh, anyway, if somebody wants to know, he he can get to the uh, our government website and get them from there and translate it and research it in the detailization he wants. I just want to tell you that I was absolutely fascinated by this documents and I read it in one shot and it kind of, it was very interesting to me personally Uh, to see somebody's last days and the guy was witness, witnessing this he was his personal pilot and uh, to be totally like to be short and to be there are just few things in there which is uh, I probably have to read as a quotation but again because it's in Russian I and I, I have difficulty to read and translate at the same time so I'll try to uh, say it in my own words. It is uh, the uh, how to begin the um, very well. Uh, it's basically like the guy, uh, the pilot. He was uh, that Nazi uh, party. He was a pilot and. Uh, uh, when he was a pilot, he met and he known a lot of like high-ranking officials in the Nazi party. When it was from the very beginning, he was there, like from 1932 or something, from the early days when it was uh, raise, uh, ri- rising, and um, mm-hmm. like uh, the guy, he was. Uh, pilot and he used to see what's going on in that uh, imperial chancellery in in Berlin until very last days until the you know Soviet Soviets capture it to so and the very uh, last days of the Hitler of the, the that place is very interesting well I keep saying very interesting, very interesting, and I'm not saying actual what's going on in there. What was very interesting to me, it is uh, very interesting to me was uh, kind of like uh, probably uh, Hitler has acted like he was a little bit delusional, not completely though. Some of the his very last things were actually, if it is true very very interesting and it showed that he he was clear-minded he understood very well what's going on 
and uh, um, uh, but delusion of, of the science of delusion it's uh, you know like a, um, uh, in 1945 in a March and February this is uh, basically two months before war ended he used to invite uh, like a, a, a main architect architect of the Berlin in uh, the, the guy used to show to Hitler uh, layouts and you know that miniature architect models of uh, new buildings in Berlin in other German cities and uh, Hitler really liked it and uh, he used to uh, look at them for hours and like uh, uh, let's say um, it was before uh, everything ended and uh, the closest surrounding of the Hitler this high-ranking officials and other stuff members they were like oh it's not too bad then if he's interested and if he's planning that kind of stuff uh, that was uh, one of the signs of the delusion and another thing like how he distanced himself from uh, other people like uh, he he kept he kept a distance and there was a um, sense of the uh, mutual distrust but mainly because uh, like um, uh, you know like uh, Hitler in his uh, chancellery he used to invite uh, like closest people and have dinner with them have meetings and some of the things within those meetings kind of were known for uh, uh, enemy intelligence and uh, after this thing uh, surfaced uh, he start to uh, not to trust his surrounding and that's why he kept distance and he was kind of uh, withdrawn and uh, very very what's they call kept people away not too close and um, that was fascinating interesting and uh, very very the last days uh, basically after uh, treason of the Kim Gimler the, the, uh, he, the his wife wife mistress or wife you Brown uh, admit to that Gans Bauer guy to the pilot like uh, uh after all i'm gonna have to die something like that it's the very last days like uh, i don't remember for sure it's uh, april 29 april 30 no april 30 say uh, he was already dead and uh and there is a uh, conversation with the uh, with this pilot with hitler himself about like uh, how he's gonna die and what he ordered that he's going he ordered to burn his body and body of his wife because he don't want the same uh, thing what happened to uh, Mussolini when they were uh, hang on the square uh, as a, for a display as a display for people all the people like they, their bodies were hanged and he didn't want it so that's why he ordered to burn it and uh, another interesting kind of thing is a uh, well is a delusion or what kind of is as a victim of propaganda the wife of the Goebbels uh, her thoughts and her things uh, like uh, just before it's all ended like she thought that uh when the soviets are come and uh capture her they're gonna kill her husband they're gonna to t torture and kill her and they they're gonna take her children and send them to moscow as a exhibit and uh, that was i don't know there is a lot of propaganda going on in the difficult times like this like uh, like what happened at that time 
and uh, of course she could believe in things like that at that time probably uh, even though it seems it's completely uh, like the thing it's uh, like impossible but uh, for uh, uh, people who was told something similar all the time victim of propaganda they can believe in that kind of stuff okay. and her children will be as a display display as an exhibit in the Moscow after they capture them who could believe in that kind of stuff well and uh, what was uh, another interesting thing I, I kind of forgot but um, I was absolutely fascinated by this documents and it was extremely interesting to me I read it several times and 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 well I don't really know what to say now I have a lot of things to think about it and people have to think about it about it a lot I think in my opinion especially these kind of times we have now but um, the, 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 the uh, this is going to be a short one the podcast and uh, again if you like it like it uh, probably probably um, I'm ending it too soon but I really don't have anything to say and again I have to apologize that it wasn't entertaining I wanted to make my audio content as much as entertaining but I'm just talking about the things that interested me probably it's not interesting to others but I think those kind of events and especially if it's happens for real are interesting interesting you should know history you should know history and this thing that it was uh, unclassified because it was secret document and just uh, until very recently it was very interesting to me well okay again if you like it like it if you don't like it you can always put a mean comment on the comment section below till next time bye bye